Hello everybody, I'm sorry to have to split up this video, but it's really long and it's really heavy and <sighs> I'm quite frankly exhausted. But at least we're a little over halfway through, like a little, little over halfway through. So let's power through this, guys. And it's just, I have random little like flashbacks when I was in my uh, one of my last foster homes and I would steal food all the time and they would ask me about it and I would lie. It was just like, who else would have done it? And it's just wild to me. I was so dumb. So dumb. I should have said, yeah, it was me. Help me. Why am I doing this? And instead I didn't say help me. I just denied it all. Always, always denied it. Deny, deny, deny. And it's just my first time I ever realized something was wrong. I was 11 years old and I was a Girl Scout. And back then when you were Girl Scouts, you had people order the cookies but they didn't get sent to their house or anything. They got sent to you and you had to physically deliver them. And I remember there was three boxes of cookies that I hadn't yet delivered to the person who ordered them. And this is when I was in a girl's group home. I remember going to my closet with those three boxes of cookies and just stuffing my face. Like, like, like I hadn't ate in forever. And that's the first time I ever realized like something is seriously not right. And I never really talked to anyone about it. I always kept it in. And it's like this day and age, I know you're not really supposed to do this, but I can Google, you know, what does this mean? Why am I doing this? And there's so many other people out there just like me, but I still feel so alone. I feel so freaking alone. Like, no one gets it. And food was there for me when no one was. And so many people are like, Truth. why is it so hard? Like, why can't you just eat less? I don't know. It has to be like, just like this thing in your brain, like this chemical like, I don't know. I don't know. See how she looked over there when she was making that up? Which I'm sure it is a chemical thing, but she knows nothing about it, which is why she's looking over here. Just further confirmation of that's her lie factory for today. Because trust me, I don't want to be this way as much as people think it. I don't want to because I'm trapped. I can't breathe. I can't do anything. I don't have fun like I used to. I mean, I'm so grateful for the people in my life now, but it's just like, I feel like a burden all the time and True. I feel embarrassed. I don't even like going True. to public anymore. I don't want to ever go out to eat. <laughs> I know that's ridiculous. Like I shouldn't go out to eat, but it's like, you guys know I went out to eat every day and I don't even want to do that anymore. I don't, I don't want to do anything True. because I don't want to be seen in public. And I've never been like that before. I've never been that person. I've always been True. the you know, fat girl who had a beautiful face, who did her makeup great, who wore cute clothes, who had great jewelry, and who didn't give an F. I, I always was, like, confident, and I was proud. I was proud of the person I was, even though I was a bigger girl, even though I was morbidly obese. I was still, like, hey, look at me. Like, yep. every day I get up, and I get ready, and I still look good, <laughs> you know, or try to at least. I'm not that girl no more. <laughs> Ugh, I'm trying so hard not to cry. I'm not that girl. Like, I used to be so... I'm trying hard not to cry. ...blind to my weight because I didn't realize how big I was. Like, I would see the number on the scale and it hurt, but I'd brush it off. And I just never felt as big as what the number said, ever. She has the opposite of body dysmorphia, but... Y'all, I think, um, I think this might be her moment. Maybe I'm being naive thinking that, but. Because I could still do everything that everyone else did, and it's just. Not everything. Let's see if she, if she, uh, looked over. I just never felt as big as what the number said, ever. Because I could still do everything that everyone else did, and. It's just, I don't, I don't see my body on a daily basis, and I knew how to take really good photos, and because I did. I had the pretty face. I was you know, the girl with the pretty face, and um, now it's, it's, it's nothing. Like, I'm nothing like that anymore. I am just <laughs> dying, and it's like, I don't even have, like, the pretty face anymore, and I, oh my god, I hate doing my makeup now because it's like, it doesn't even matter. I hate doing my hair. That's why it's always up in a bun. And I hate putting on clothes, even though I keep buying clothes, because somehow it just makes me feel better. I don't know. It's just like, 
I'm no longer the, the Amberlynn that was confident and proud. I mean, of course, I hated being big, but I never, like, I don't know. I never felt like this. I never felt completely and utterly just horrific. And I might have said I felt that way then, but my God, it, it was nothing compared to how I feel now. And it's just like... Sorry, y'all. I'm speechless. I'm absolutely speechless right now. When you feel this trapped, the only fun thing to do is eat. And so many people keep asking, like, why don't you vlog anymore? Because I literally can't. Like, I can't. I can't even vlog anymore. Y'all, I feel really bad for her right now. This is... This video has mostly been truth. Like, YouTube is my soul and my heart and everything. Just everything to me. It's I've been on YouTube for over five years now. And I have vlogged so much. <laughs> like, when I first started YouTube, I think for like a year, I would upload two to three videos per day. It was, <laughs> it was crazy. I was obsessed. And I just, I vlogged everything. I vlogged everything for years. And... It's because I was able to. I was able to breathe. And it's just now, like, I constantly have to, like, how do I word it? Gasp for air and try to, you know, breathe. And it's like, I know I did this to myself. I know, because I didn't ask for help soon enough. It's like, if I would have asked for help when I was younger, I don't think it would be as bad now. But I was always just like the fat girl, you know? I was always just the fat girl. The girl who loved food and it's like little did people know it was a lot more than just me loving food. Let me tell you, it was me obsessed with it because it was the only thing that made me feel good. Well, and quite honestly, my perspective on it is that food is the only thing that's ever been consistent in her life. The only thing that has ever been... Think about this. Most of us have either had the same friends for a long time, same, you know, uh, the same family members for a long time, lived in the same town for a long time, um, had the same interests for a long time, but Amberlynn hasn't had that. Her interest was food. It is something that she knew was consistent because she had to have it in order to live. And now, it's, ironically, it's causing her to die. And look where it's gotten me. It's just like, everything that I have, what do I really have? Now I'm just thinking out loud. I don't even know. I just wanted to film this and let you guys know that, like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to myself. I'm sorry to my supporters who just want more content from me. And it's like, I don't know how. Truth. Because I love vlogging. I love it so much. And I am passionate about it, and it's just so fun to me. It honestly is. And now, so she see how she's kind of looked over that way? Because right now, she doesn't love vlogging. It's not that she's lying. It's that right now, she doesn't love vlogging. But she remembers the idea of her vlogging, which is why her eye went all the way around. I just feel like I can't do it. <laughs> and it's... It's, you know, big part mental, but the biggest part is physical. And I know so many people are just like, it's just vlogging, like, it's so easy. But people are tired of me just sitting down. But that's just how it is for now. And I hope we can come back to this one day. And I'll be out doing the things I really want to do. I want to go for walks. I want to see nature, you know. Go I for walks. I walk around the mall again. Like, just go. super Girl. simple things. That Girl, go out in nature, do that for a few months, and then move on to the mall, girlfriend. People take for granted on the daily. I want to do those things again, you know? I want to film more cooking videos and get more experimental, and I can't even... Then do it. Do it, Film cooking videos, really, because I'm constantly out of breath. And I know a lot of people are like, you should be worried about the breathing, and duh. But it is strictly because of my weight, because the more I gain the more it's hard for me to breathe. And then if I lose like 10 pounds, 12 pounds, 15 pounds, my breathing is just like drastically better. So it's just, my body, it shouldn't have as much weight. I am 5'3". 
I am 5'3", I'm short. So me being this short, holding, you know, 557 pounds is not, <laughs> not good. It's not good. I really want to try choosing a plan of weight loss and just taking it and just making it mine. I want to be its bitch. I want to be my bitch. How that saying goes, like, I... <laughs> I know I can lose weight fast. Like, I know it because of how big I am. And I just want to feel better. And I want people to be inspired by me. And I want Becky to be inspired by me because I know she wants to lose weight too. And I want her and I to be there for each other. And it's just, it's what I need. It's what I need. And I want to film more. And right now, you guys, my videos are mainly going to be my thoughts in my head regarding weight loss and what I'm going through and my struggles and just... That's, that's good. That's what we want to see. That's all I have for you. <laughs> like, I... I have to get... Take the camera with you on walks. Walk around the house, you know, a few times every day. Start small. And don't give up. Look, y'all, this keto has been the hardest stuff I've ever done. It's not easy. And it's not a fast process. It's hard as shit. And if y'all know me and you know how my channel has been, you know that I love wine. Y'all know that I love wine so, so much. And it is so hard that I, I, can't, even, I can't even drink a Truly, a flavored carbonated alcoholic beverage with almost no sugar and almost no carbs. I can't even drink one without getting a headache. I have literally half of a can from yesterday in the fridge because it started to give me a headache. Back to where I was to become the person I want to be. Because right now I am so far away from that girl that I just, I don't even know who I am anymore. So I'm done rambling. I'm gonna have the muted clip here and I want everyone to see that we turned on the scale and we didn't press tear because I know there's rumors about tear and this and that and we were rigging the scale. I don't know how to do that, and it offends me that people think that, but it's whatever. I wanted to show you guys us stepping on the scale so you guys can see what really happened. And um, whoever stuck around this long, I feel like nobody did. <laughs> I feel like the minute I said the weight loss is going to be at the end of the video, that's where people went, <laughs> or the, us stepping on the scale. Anyways, um, but for those who did stick around and listen, thank you very much, and I appreciate your guys' uh, ears. <laughs> what? I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. I don't need to lecture, but for those of you who are sitting there waiting for her to take her last breath or hoping she commits suicide, um, I think it's time to reevaluate uh, maybe not watching her anymore, not commenting on anything of hers anymore, because even though she lies all the time and she has no grip on reality, nobody deserves to be told stuff like that. It's awful. You know, some other videos I've been passionate about her lying, blah, blah, blah. But there's really not much to report with this. She was pretty much honest most of the time. It was a very emotional video. I feel drained from it. I can only imagine how she feels. And if she ever watches this, I just hope that um, she can understand that all it takes is just walking a little bit. A little bit can go a long way. But self-control is the most important. And I don't have a lot of self-control naturally. And if I can do keto, then Amberlynn can lose weight. All right, you guys. Love you all. Thank you for sticking around. And I've got some a few other videos coming up. I haven't edited them yet. Um, 
as well as I'm going to be breaking apart a live stream that I had done uh, with an explanation of narcissism and some of my analyzations of former Anne Berlin videos that I've watched while everybody was chilling with me on live stream. Um, I don't know when these are going to come out, and as long as Amberlynn is posting, I'm going to keep updating my videos according to her videos, but uh, in the meantime, I'll be continuing to work on those. One video I have coming up is the, um, the video where she talks about uh, Casey and the sexual assault, and... I'm trying to think. I think I have another one. I can't remember what it was, but anyway. But um, I'll be bringing those to you at some point soon. Okay. They're already recorded. I already did them. I just need to edit and put them up here. Okay. All right. Bye now.